You think this blade cuts your fruit? Think again, it tears it apart, using physics. Here's how your blender works. Think again, it tears it apart, using physics. First, a powerful electric motor spins a shaft connected to the blades. This motor delivers something called torque, a twisting force that makes the blade spin fast. First, a powerful electric motor spins a shaft connected to the blades. This motor delivers something called torque. We're talking 20,000 rotations per minute. But spinning alone isn't what destroys food. That makes the blade spin fast, really fast. We're talking 20,000 rotations per minute. As the blade turns, it pulls the food in with a swirling motion like a mini tornado. Then comes centrifugal force. Everything gets flung outward from the center. Isn't what destroys food. As the blade turns, it pulls the food in with a swirling motion. Hard pieces like carrots slam into the blade's edges at high speed. At that moment, a force called sheer stress rips them apart. Then comes centrifugal force. Everything gets flung outward from the center. Hard pieces like carrots slam into the blade's edges at high speed. At that moment, a force called sheer stress rips them apart. The blade isn't slicing cleanly like a knife, it's applying pressure across two surfaces moving in opposite directions. That's why smoothies are so smooth. The fruit cell walls are shredded not chopped, even ice gets pulverized by repeated impacts and sheer force. So what looks like simple spinning, is actually a complex balance of torque, inertia, fluid dynamics and shear. It's not the blade that's magical, it's the science behind the spin. Next time you press that button remember you're unleashing a storm of physics. Your smoothie, it's the delicious result of torque, motion and force working in perfect harmony. Welcome to the science of everyday things. Want more science behind everyday machines? Subscribe